people and I'm back cooking again <clears throat> with throat with the chest infection working its way on and today I'm going to do the re <coughs> redo of bagels right <clears throat> like I said I've got the instructions again so it says tip the yeast move back move back you see that I'm going to with one with one tablespoon of sugar, but it isn't a tablespoon, but it's near enough. Excuse me a minute. <coughs> it's this bloody chest infection. It's pissing me off. I know it's coming, but it's not here quite here. Right, so a hundred mill 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 bit of water. Enough. Mix it. Get our lumps out. Now that should turn frothy. I'm going to get all the lumps out, which is leave for 10 minutes for it to be frothy. So I put that on there, leave for 10 minutes until frothy. Right, pour 200 millilitres of warm water into a bowl and that's what I've done wrong because I've done it with cold water. So I'm going to have to redo it with warm water. Right, as you, as you saw I messed up first time. So I've got my yeast in, tablespoon of sugar, pop off measuring stuff for bread so I have got a bread making machine over there and I'm going to add the water now it is warm I've warmed it up well I boiled it so I'm hoping to Christ it goes right I'm going to mix that Now let it cool down, I didn't put it on full boil, but I put it on most of, well I put it on to boil and then took it off just before it got to the boiling point. So I put that for 10 minutes and then it said in a bowl, which will be this one, pour warm water. <laughs> it's bloody hot while it's. I don't think that's enough. It might be. Alright. Water into a bowl, then stir in the salt. That's the salt. Stir that in. Right, stirring it in now. Then add half the flour. Oh, in a bowl, yeah. Stirring in the salt, yeah. And then half the flour. Keep stirring that in. Keep adding bits more flour until it's all mixed in. That's getting better. It says you might not need as much flour as it says, but that's starting to look a bit better now we're going to check if it's frothy <laughs> I bet it in I bet it bloody in oh it's frothy 
it is, it's coffee. <laughs> that frothy coffee. Not into it. Right, take the spoon out. Spray what's in it. Right, mix it all in. You can smell the yeast working already. Well, I can. Can you smell it? Smell. Nice, isn't it? <laughs> right, so now I'm going to roll it out into a bowl. A bowl. A bowl. Yes. And then I'm going to... going to cover it with cling foam. Because it's got to double in size. Why am I taking it out then? Stirring half the flour. Shape into a ball and put in a ball. So I need to shape it into a ball and then leave it in the bowl. Okay. Oh, it's not going to shape into a ball, is it? Because there's no flour on it. anyway it's got to no oh, it can't be that right it can't be right mix with hands shape in a bowl put in a bowl so I've got to check it out can you get me some flour Lee please and then I've got to Cover it with cling foam. Yeah. Right. Uh, I'm going. I've took it out of the bowl. Uh, it says to do it in a bowl. Roll it over in a bowl. I think it's too elastic. It's to be in a perfect bowl. a bit better huh? that's it it's getting better right it's not a ball because it keeps get off my bloody fingers not a ball completely but anyway it says put in a dish and cover with cling foam oh for crying out loud it's all sticking to me so what I'm going to do is when it gets off my finger is I'm going to put it in I need another bowl can you get me a bowl of that please right it's going in I'm going, to cl cl I'm going to cover it with cling foam and leave it for a hour like it says. As you can see I've put some flour on the table. This is coming out easy, isn't it? That's nearly empty now. Right, that's it. Alright, so now it says I've got to make into batches of ten. Big enough for batches of ten. So it says it needs to be elastic, elasticated. Look, feel elasticated. We don't get more elasticated than that. Right. So I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> right. So now I'm going to break some of it off. 
and make it into a bow. As you can see, it's like it is elastic case to this. Doing its job. Get off. I need some more flour, please. Thank you. And it says make it into a bow, which it is. Well, more or less. And then it said, get your spoon. No, I'm not having that one because it's all broke up. It used to be together. Right, that's it. And then it says, get your spoon. Make a hole in it like that. And then it said, I don't understand this bit. Wrap it up in cling foil. Oh, this has gone up. Right, I've got my little owl in the middle. Yeah. Then it says wrap it up in cling foil. Now I don't understand this bit, but oh. Don't know if you're supposed to be tight cling foam or my little old is disappearing. So I'm going to do another one. Come off. Uh, make another bob, make it into another ball or semi. That's it. Put some more. Lower on my stick, on my stick, it's a bloody spoon. Ow, 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 ow. Ah, we're stuck. Say wiggle it about. <laughs> that's why I'm doing it. I know you're probably thinking, oh, I don't say that, but it does actually say wiggle it about. Right, that's the hole in the middle. So, some more uh, cling foam. And then I'm going to, it says you can, oh, can't talk. It says you can put into the first bit you put in, it can be in batches of four. I don't think my pan is big enough to have batches of four. So, well, we'll have to see. I'm going to put two in. Well, I'm going to put two in and that's it. Because I think my pan will only take two. And when you see my pan, you'll understand. I mean, I have got a bigger pan. So I think that's right. I'm, oh, no, I'm not probably doing it wrong. But I'm doing it exactly how it said. Now it said drop it in with a, a, spl a, spl a, spl a, spl a spoon with holes in it. So I'm going to put some boiling water around a pa in a pan now. I'm going to, and it says after, it says when it's boiling to drop the sugar in it. Well, I don't understand that, but yes, I shall do exactly what it says. As I have got my little instructions here so it says drop in the water boiling water for one to two minutes oh no one minute then turn it then another minute so that's one to two minutes yeah turn it in the water so it's got to go in the water then add the sugar sugar in water never mind so I'm going to pick these up very gently, I know I don't normally do it gently, but yes, and I'm going to put them, I'm going to get some boiling water, put the kettle on, put some boiling water in them and put them in. Right, as you know the water is, but you can see the steam coming off the water. I'm going to sit down for this. Right, so I'm going to put the sugar in. Yeah, sugar, not salt, yeah, sugar, like it said. Right, that's it. Ah, uh, busted my blister. Never mind. Right, and it did say to 
put it, these in with a spoon. Oh, I can't even get out of it. That's it. I bet these go. I've got to tell me now. Do I grease that tray, would you think? I don't know if I'm, I might grease that tray, so that's... It says after a minute, turn it over. So I'm just timing it. Why, well, it seems a minute takes such a long time when you're waiting. Right, nearly there. It's good job I've got a ticky tucky hand on my clock in my watch, isn't it? Nearly there, five minutes. Right, turn it over. Oh, fuck. Right, that's it. So another minute. I th it looks how oh, that bleeding thumb with that blister. It looks like the sugar has made it go brown a bit. Can you see that, Lee? Can you see that on camera? No, no. Well, we'll just take the view. <laughs> I don't know if it's supposed to, well it's going to have to be submerging water, I don't know if it's supposed to be boiling. I know it says it should be it's boiling already, isn't it? Nearly there. Watch this, this will probably go wrong and that one will go better. I might just put them, it said two two together, didn't it? Oh, stupid me. Right, that's time. So we get him out, and he hasn't doubled in size as it's supposed to. I think I'm going to put him back in and put this one back in. Uh, put this one back in. It's not even going to be in first time. And put this one in. This one I'm going to put in. So I'm going to have two boiling. So like I said, I'm going to time him again. That one's nearly done because that is going brown. I can't even see Tiki Tok on there. Eyes are that crap. Oh here we are, on six. So that one probably should take better than the other one. Right, I'm going to take them out of the pan now. They don't look as though they've expanded much. Turn the pan off now. Oh, chasing round round now. The pan to come here, little bugger. Oh, don't worry, I'm gonna move the pan so you can see what I'm doing. For a minute. Right, I'm gonna sit down and Take this off. Oh, I don't know if I was supposed to have greased my tray. I just have done. What the? I can't get this off. Oh, I see. Here we go. It starts here. Ow, ow. <laughs> Should have got my oven gloves. I don't even know why I never use them. I use tea towels and everything else, but I never use my open gloves. Oh my word! <laughs> Come on, stop playing.
being stupid here and get off the tin folder of it thing, get it out like that. Look at that. Ugh, it's all gone all. Oh! <laughs> it chuffing hot! <sighs> Throw that in bin. Oh, I love sitting down here. I've got a bin directly in there. Right, now this one. Oh, yes. Chuff. Oh, I lost me all. That sounds so wrong. I've lost me all. Oh, I'm bloody hot. So I'm going to put them in the oven when I've made the others. And... Well, we'll see how they go. Right, as you can see, them two, uh, the reason why they separated is because them two came out of the uh, cling film. Uh, I know they're not all round, but I think out of all of them, I think that one has come out a lot better. Well, I know um, half of them, well, I don't think, apart from one, I don't think any of them were round. Uh, so yeah, if you like what you see, I mean, I mean the proper, the better than last one. I mean, at least you can see how I out. You can see the hole in the middle. <sighs> Bloody hot. All right. So if you like what you see, please keep viewing me. If you want to give me a big old thumbs up, be much appreciated. And if you want to leave a comment, please feel free. The more the merrier. And if you haven't subscribed, or you know someone who hasn't subscribed. Get them subscribing and you'll get subscribing too. Thank you. Bye.